so guys how are you all i hope all are good so guys uh, today we'll see one of the error in post one okay so you can see guys here there is 401 unauthorized error this error already i told guys ki unauthorized error when it will come and why it will come that everything i told guys if you have not seen that video till this then guys please watch that video there you will get this error okay means uh, the solution of this error you will get guys and one more thing guys you can see uh, means one more error is there guys that is 403 forbidden error okay so uh, for that i had got comment like how to solve that but guys that error still i did not got but i'll tell that error how means why that error will come you can you can see guys if you go here in status you can see the it is telling what uh, 401 is similar to 403 forbidden error okay it is telling similar but specially for use when authentication is possible but has failed or not it been provided okay means what guys here the person has authenticated okay he has all the token also he have he has user id password everything and token also he is authenticated but some what we can say some modules are there or some uh, thing in application some important thing is there which, which is not uh, what we can say which is not accessible that person I mean, one example i'll tell you guys see in admin panel if you go there there will be a user and admin so admin handle everything but user cannot use that uh, admin panel things admin flow what can do that user cannot do because the, he don't have any permission user don't have permission okay he has authentication all the use means authentication details he has okay but he don't have permission to use that admin or whatever admin do that he cannot do right so that is the thing guys that is the 403 forbidden error suppose if you are getting that error you are authenticated but some routes are there which are not accessible by that person or by that user id so that time it will give 403 forbidden error guys means there is some restriction so that will be accessible by uh, one admin person only not user person because for user they have given some restriction okay so it's like that guys so i hope guys you got suppose you did not got this then guys please comment it is bit confusing like uh, authentication is there but some routes or some modules they are not accessible or that restricted to that person so for that if it is like that then you will get that 403 forbidden error okay so i hope guys you got this if you have any question queries then guys please comment in comment box and if you are liking my videos guys then like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys keep supporting guys